In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your SQ desk for system tuning without using an external audio interface. I'm going to show you how to connect everything and I'll guide you through setting up your desk and your computer with measurement software. Hi, my name is Pita and welcome to Mono Sound Lab. In my setup today, I have an Allen & Heath SQ5 and I have a laptop running my measurement software. In my case, that's Smart8. The desk and the computer are connected via the USB I.O. port of the desk, so you only need a USB cable. I also connected a speaker to simulate our PA system and I connected the measurement mic to local input 16 of the desk. Let's have a look at my output configuration first. I like to use matrices for my PA sense and my smart reference channel. For my PA sense, I normally use a stereo matrix for the main left right and a mono matrix for the sub. I also like to use a mono matrix for my reference channel. I want to send the same signal to all these matrices. In this case, the main left right bus. So we go to routing, we select the main left right bus. We select main send, and then we select on the bottom matrix sends. And we send the main left right 0 dB to all the matrices. The last thing we need to do is patch these matrices to the right outputs. So we go to IO, we select outputs, and we select mix out. I'm using local outputs for the PA system, so I select local and I look for my matrices on the bottom. Here we have my main left, main, main right, my sub and my reference matrix. So I use one and two for my main left, local output three for my sub, and for my reference channel, I don't need to select a physical output anymore like we used to do with our external interface, but we can just send it via the USB. So I select USB here on the top, and I select USB output 2 for the reference matrix. I don't actually need a measurement channel on the desk. I only need it for smart, but I have put it here for easy gain access. Make sure you don't send this channel to any outputs except for the direct out to smart. So disable all the bus sends. Select the channel, go to routing, and here, disable all the bus sends. Also, don't forget to patch the correct input and direct output to this channel. So go to I.O., select the input tab, and our measurement mic is coming through local input 16. So select local and scroll down to the bottom where my measurement channel is. Here, I patch my measurement channel to 16. For the direct outputs, we select outputs and we select input direct outputs. Here, we will send it to the USB. So we select USB and we will route measurement mic to USB 1. I like it better when the pink noise is on a fader, so I have direct control over it. Most of the time, I use pink noise from Smart. If we want to patch that, we go to inputs again and we select the USB tab. Here, my smart pink channel, I select USB 1. If you rather use the onboard signal generator, you can do that as well. You just press select on the right channel, you go to processing and you select here, signal generator and hit apply. Then you go to setup, go to the audio tab, and here in the signal generator tab, you can turn up the level. Now we can use the onboard signal generator on that same channel. But I, of course, want to use the signal generator of my smart, so I put it back to USB port and apply. One small remark, if you don't get any signal from your smart, that's maybe because the wrong USB port on the desk is selected. You can check it by pressing setup, going to the audio tab and to the USB tab here on the right. Here you can select the right USB port. The USB port on the back is USB B. 
Also, if you want to run your smart at 48 kilohertz instead of 96, you can adjust the sample rate right here. So now that we have set up our desk, we can have a look at smarts. You can see that there is currently a previous configuration in smarts. I like to save a separate smart configuration for each audio interface I use. So I'll make a new configuration for this SQ setup. You do that by going to config and select manage configuration. Here you can press restore defaults. And if you press that, you see that smart is asking you to restart and reset your smart. Click yes and the program will restart. Smart will restart with a completely empty setup. Because the config is empty, Smart will ask you to make a new measurement config. So click OK. The first thing we need to do is adjust the sample rate because our SQ is running at 96 kilohertz. So change it from 48 to 96. Then we need to select the correct input device. So that's Core Audio SQ Audio. Select it. And then Smart will show you a list with input channels down below. We only need the first two input channels, one for our measurement mic and one for a reference channel. So I will deselect all channels and only select channel one and channel two. Next, we have to configure our output device. You can see that Smart selects all output devices available. I only want to use SQ Audio, so I will deselect the others. For the SQ Audio, I only want to use the first output channel for my signal generator. So I will deselect all the channels and only select the first channel. So now that we have set up our IO config, we need to set up our measurement config next. So select the tab measurement config here. And here you can see that Smart automatically sets up all the spectrum management for the selected channels, but we still have to set up our transfer function measurements. We do that by clicking new transfer function measurements down below here. And we give it a name. I am just gonna call it TF1. And here we need to select the correct device, the correct measurement channel, and the correct reference channel. So our device is SQ Audio, our measurement channel or measurement microphone is indeed channel one, and our reference channel, the matrix, is channel two. So we click OK, and now we have successfully added a new transfer function measurement. So we can click OK. In our spectrum measurement view, we can see channel one for our measurement mic and channel two for our reference matrix. If we hit shortcut T, we go to our transfer function view and we can see our previously set up transfer function measurements here. The last thing we need to do is route our smart signal generator to the desk. The smart signal generator is on the bottom right of the screen. If we click the generator title, we can set up and configure our outputs for the pink noise. So our device is SQ Audio and our main output is channel one and hit OK. Now we can turn the generator on here and set the volume right here. If we now turn on the signal generator in Smart, we can see the inputs on the desk. So if I turn the fader up to zero, we can see and hear it going to the PA and to a reference matrix. If I mute the measurement mic now, you can see it disappear in Smart. And if I mute the reference matrix, you can also see the reference channel disappear in Smart. So that means we patched it correctly. That's how you set up your SQ console for system tuning without using an external interface. If you're not that familiar with Smart, but you want to learn more, Rational Acoustics has some very good starting tutorial videos on their website. I leave a link in the description. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, my friends.